terrified students barricade themselves inside classrooms at UCLA as a crazed gunman stalks the campus. But there's a problem. Our doors open outward, so it was very hard to try to lock it because it didn't have a lock. It's a flaw that could have proved tragic. Some UCLA students improvised, using anything they could find to barricade themselves inside. Chairs, tables, printers, even a foosball table. What is that? Did something fall? These frightened students tried to barricade themselves inside a library. You can see one guy trying to wrap his belt around the door hinge to no avail. Okay, you're in an active shooter situation. You hear the shots go off. You're gonna Safety expert Bill Stanton showed me simple ways to bar a door. A screwdriver. This class happens to have one. So I'm going to put it in. I'm going to wedge it. And I'm going to step away from the door because you don't want to be in the way of the door. Now we have a producer on the other side. Try to open the door. Now she can't get in at all. And a folding chair can be used to bar a door too. Set it. Step away. Stanton also demonstrated how to build a strong barricade if the unthinkable happens, as it did at UCLA. We want to get as much there. Let's go. Chairs. Keep on moving. It's never enough. Come on. More, 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 more stuff. We're learning more about the killer seen in this chilling image, identified as 38-year-old Minek Sarkar. Police say they found a kill list at Sarkar's home. On the list, his victims, UCLA professor William Klug and Sarkar's girlfriend, Ashley Hasty, found slain in Minnesota. Fortunately, students who manned the barricades at UCLA were safe. Well, I'm very proud of all of them. They went proactive. They looked for anything and everything to secure those doors. Can we go? Yeah. Yes.